Hey everyone, welcome to Protein Treats by NutriCell. I'm Melanie Wildman, and as some of you may know, I'm a sleever. I've lost over 100 pounds almost 10 years ago now, and I have kept it off by eating these kinds of super yummy foods that are really high in protein, really high in prebiotic fiber, and lots of healthy fats. So I'm gonna show you guys how I eat healthy so you can eat the food you love and lose weight. And today we have an extra special treat for you. I'm gonna show you how to make super yummy, decadent, and delicious cream cheese cookies. So let's get started. Okay, so to make these super yummy and healthy treats, you're gonna need two whole eggs. You're gonna need three tablespoons of melted butter. Let it cool back down to room temperature. You're gonna need about a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. And you're going to need about a tablespoon of a cream, a heavy cream or coconut cream. And then I've got half a cup of coconut flour here and half, about four ounces or half a brick of cream cheese. And then of course, our vanilla neutraline. And our vanilla neutraline is so important because it uses natural flavors, but it also has 30 grams of the highest quality Canadian protein, and it has 10 grams of prebiotic fiber. And that's really important because the prebiotic fiber is what extends the absorption time of your protein so that your body can actually utilize all of the protein you're eating. The other thing that's so great about it is it helps you feel full for hours. So instead of just having one or two of these yummy cookies and then you kind of sneak back a few minutes later and have three or four more and the next thing you know the pan is gone. I don't know if you guys have ever done that with cookies. I obviously have in the past, I will admit it. Um, but these are super filling. So you're only gonna have one or two and you're gonna feel so satisfied and so full that you're gonna be able to save them for your next snack. So I'm gonna show you how fast and easy it is to put these little guys together, but I wanted to share with you that you can actually add sugar-free chocolate chips and these make a great chocolate chip cookie. But we're making these just nice and vanilla and plain and I'm gonna show you how yummy they turn out. Okay, I'm gonna start actually with my liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my butter in here. And you know, if you think back to say 50 years ago, and you look at pictures of people, one thing that you'll notice is everyone was pretty slim. And they used real fat, they used real lard, they used real cream, and they ate lots of protein. So that's one of the reasons why people were thinner is they actually felt full on the food that they were eating. Today, over 80% of the food that you get in the supermarket has added sugar and the average person is eating three quarters of our food, a little more than that actually, is processed food. And that food is made to make sure that you never feel full so that you eat more of their food. That's why it's really important to learn how to just cook on your own, to make this yummy stuff yourself. Next, I'm gonna put my eggs in. There we go. And eggs are super healthy for you. In fact, there was a new study that just came out and I'll have to find the link and post it in the, in the description below for you guys. But they found that the protein in eggs is much better absorbed by your body when it's accompanied with the yolk. So even though you'll read on the outside of a carton, for example, that egg whites have just as much protein, your body actually doesn't get to use as much of that protein if you don't have the yolk in your egg. So don't be scared of a little fat, you guys. Eat the whole egg. Okay, now I'm gonna add a few drops of stevia. Not a lot because there's already some sweetness in our vanilla neutraline. So you don't need to really add too, too much. But I'm just gonna add a little bit so that our cookies taste nice and sweet. And now I'm going to add in our dry ingredients. And now we're gonna put in our half a cup of coconut flour. And what I love about coconut flour is not only is it gluten-free, but it's super high in fiber and it's really, really got a nice flavor, especially for sweet things like cookies. And we're gonna add three scoops of our vanilla neutraline. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Make sure we get all three scoops in and that's gonna give us lots of protein and fiber. So think of it this way, you know how you're supposed to have your shake every day. Now you can actually have your shake in yummy things like cookies. 
And now I'm just going to quickly mix up my batter until I get it sort of cookie dough consistency. You can see here how it's mixing. Remember this, you don't have to mix everything perfectly. So if you see a few little lumps, don't worry, that's what makes cookies taste like cookies. And it's so fast to whip these up. Look at that, you guys. There we go. That took what? A minute and we've got our batter ready for our cookies. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put these all on my pan. We're going to cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees. And then I'm going to show you how super yummy these are and we'll get them out of the oven now. Okay, so now let's get these onto our pan and I'm gonna show you how yummy these turn out. Now I love using parchment paper for everything because it makes it so much easier you never have to worry about your cookies sticking. And I use this little mini ice cream scooper. It is so slick. You just do that and then boom, you've got a cookie. It takes two seconds. So here we go. We're just gonna leave them maybe about that much apart. So I would say, what's that, a quarter inch or so apart? You don't need to leave a lot of room because these are gonna pretty much cook close to the shape that they're in now. So if you want them more flat, just go ahead and use a fork and flatten them down. So if you were gonna make chocolate chip cookies out of this recipe, all you do is right at the very end, take your sugar-free chocolate chips and put them in. I would do about a quarter cup or so of chocolate chips and you can even chop up dark chocolate and put them right in there and then you're good to go. You have perfect chocolate chip cookies. And look at that, so easy. These are ready to go in the oven and I will see you guys back in about 10 to 12 minutes to show you how great these turned out. There we go, you guys. Look how yummy these are. I'm gonna let them cool for a little second and do a taste test and see how they turned out. I'm just gonna break one of these apart to show you how dense these are. And that's why you're gonna feel so full when you just have one or two of these yummy little treats. Mmm, mmm. You can taste the cream cheese. It tastes so delicious. It's a really soft flavor. I think you guys are really gonna like this. If you want something that's sweet, but not so sweet, these are the perfect cookies. Make sure you stick around and check out some of your own creations that we're gonna show afterwards. And of course, subscribe because every week I show you yummy ways you can eat the food you love and lose weight. All right guys, see you back here next week.